accordance with Public Law 1975C.233, the Open Public Meetings Law, by publishing a legal notice in the Burlington County Times and the Trenton Times on Thursday, January 12, 2023, and also posted on the district website. Please stand for the flag salute. I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mrs. Baracci. Here. Mr. Conti. Present. Mrs. Norfleet. Here. Mrs. Papp. Here. Mrs. Popso. Mr. Sullivan. Present. Mrs. Wainwright. Mr. Nutter. Here. Dr. Skinner. Here. We have a quorum. Thank you. May I have a motion and a second for approval of the agenda? Motion. Motion by Baracci. Motion by Baracci, second by Wainwright. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Thank you. Our student body rep. Good evening. I will be talking about what the high school has been doing this past month. Student Council put on a dress up week to celebrate the Week of Kindness. Student Council also made hearts for all the teachers, putting them outside the teachers' doors. Members of the student body recognized each teacher and staff member with a special message of thanks. In addition, the group organized a dessert bar for the staff to enjoy during the Week of Kindness. Interact Club went to Brookdale Senior Living Center on February 16th where they played games with the residents and delivered Valentine's treats to each of the residents. On March 27th, Interact will also be holding a blood drive during school for students and after school from 2.30 to 7 p.m. for the community. If any community members would like to donate, please contact our Inter Interact advisor, Ms. Rodan, via email. NHS sold carnations for Valentine's Day. In addition, the group sold pretzels during lunch periods in February, where they were able to make money for future activities. They plan to sell these pretzels each month. The Black and Latina, Latina X Student Union will be, doing, will be going to Trenton Area Soup Kitchen in March to assist the feeding program. This week is a very exciting week for the Florence High School Performing Arts Center. The first day to see Once Upon a Mattress will be this Friday, March 3rd, starting at 6 p.m. The second performance will be Saturday at 6 p.m. and the final performance is on Sunday at 2 p.m. We hope that you will all come out to see the show. The student performers and members of the stage crew have worked very hard the past several months. Thank you for your time this evening. Thank you. Okay, and we're gonna transition now to our student recognition program. Um, and we're gonna start with athletics for this evening. All right, Sydney. All right, so tonight we invited Sydney here to honor her as the all time leading goal, uh, career goals for our women's Florence Flash soccer team. We're going to um, award her this beautiful plaque, Florence Township Memorial High School, presented to Sydney Slocken in recognition of her outstanding high school soccer career from 2019 to 2022. Sydney set a new school record with 65 goals throughout her time at Florence and was selected as a first team BCS, L, uh, BS, BS, BCSL All-Star multiple times. Uh, Sydney is outstanding. Um, her outstanding performance in soccer has brought great recognition to herself, her family, and her school, and we are extremely proud of her. Could we please give her a round of applause? She'll also get a, a plaque here at home, um, right outside the gymnasium. Oh, it is waiting forever. So come back and see it, Sydney. Thank you. Okay, now in recognition of our, um, we were gonna start with our high school. Can we switch that, Mr. Gupta? 
And Mr. Kogan, can we start with our high school student of the month? Good morning, Ms. Alexmark. Heather, when I'm a student of the month for January of 2023. One of my favorite things about the high school is the music program. While it may be small, the achievements it can make are remarkable. I'm involved in the marching band, concert band, and pit orchestra for the musical. I enjoy doing each of these activities in their own ways, but they all have many connections. I truly appreciate what the music directors do for the students. They motivate and encourage the students to not only
surprised her with that. So I hope it showed really through there. She has a passion for theater. The thing that you can't really see is just how amazing this movie is. It's far beyond what she does in our theater. It's really the tone in which she sets forth for our movie. Humble, smart, intelligent, everything that you want to see. Her saying that she hopes she gets in the honors class, she will. She's going to do a phenomenal job here. It's an honor to do what she wants. Another round of applause for all of Congratulations, and now for our Roebling Manor banner, Ms. Agresta. Um, so this month, Mrs. Hemmings class won Manor banner, and it was really, really well deserved. To start with, Mrs. Hemmings has this bubbly, exciting energy that the kids just want to listen to, but she's really taught them how to strive for pride and they've done a wonderful job with it. I actually got to cover in that class the other day, and it was wonderful because they could walk me through everything. They were like, no, we practice the work this time. Okay. <laughs> But very, very well behaved and uh, really, really nice. Can I watch your video?
Francisca. Congratulations to all of our students of the month. Um, we're going to take a three-minute recess. Um, we can take some photos in the back with each class and administration, please. Take three minutes. Thank you. Community Forum 1. Members of the public are invited to submit comments pertaining only to the board agenda during this public comment portion of the meeting. General comments not necessarily pertaining to the agenda are invited to be submitted during the public comment portion at the end of this meeting. Pursuant to the Open Public Meetings Act, the board will not publicly discuss personnel matters. This portion of the meeting is not a question and answer session. The board will not respond to comments made by members of the public during this portion of the meeting. However, the board will give all comments appropriate consideration and will refer all individual complaints to the superintendent of schools or administration for resolution. Each statement made by a participant shall be limited to three minutes duration and not to exceed a total of 30 minutes. May I have a motion and a second to open Community Forum 1? Motion. Motion by Baracci, second by Sullivan. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? I appreciate it. Hi. Can you do me a favor? Yeah, it's, I was going to say it's really, it's oh, there's there's a lot of, here. lot of stuff there. Right here. Oh, really? Oh, I love the microphone. You can sing okay. too. Uh, what? Well, if, you could sing if you could okay. sing. So okay. Sorry. Agenda item R1, letter D, the HIB report. So there, it's not, there's no link on the agenda on the website this month at all. And I actually checked back last month. There's no HIB report and there's no HIB report for November or December. The last one that's on the agenda is from October of 2022. And I also just had a question regarding um, the suspension reports. So I realized that they are uploaded for the meeting, guessing like today, it's January's report. So, or February's, excuse me, February's report. So what happens to any um, suspensions or HIB violations that happen after the meeting? Like are they added to the next month or I just wanna make sure they're not getting lost in the shuffle because if the meeting is prior to the end of the month, um, I don't know where those are being tracked. Does that make sense, what I yes. said? Okay. That's all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anyone else? Seeing no other comment, may I have a motion and a second to close Community Forum 1? Motion. Motion by Baracci, second by Sullivan. Sullivan. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Thank you. 
Can we answer that? Okay, if you'd like. Okay, to address the questions that were brought up in the community forum, one, for the HIV reports, they are publicly stated and reflected um, in closed executive sessions. So the numbers are shared, and the SSDS report were um, presented to the board at the January meeting with all of the uh, data and reports. Anything that is received after the presentation of the board meeting re uh, is then into the next meeting that is uh, then held. Thank you. Suspension. Including suspension reports Including as well. Suspension. Okay. Um, may I have a motion and a second for uh, R01 for monthly reports? Motion. Motion by Baracci. Wainwright. Second by Wainwright. Any questions? Just to clarify, for the motion for the HIV report is three uh, reported for the high school, one confirmed. Riverfront, six reported, four confirmed, and Roebling is one reported, one confirmed. That is in the closed executive's uh, information shared with the board. Okay. Um, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Um, for minutes of board meetings, we have to take these separately, and there will be a roll call vote because there were absences. So may I have a motion and a second to approve the minutes of the January 4th organization, organizational meeting. Sorry about that. Motion. Oh, who is that? Oh, motion by Pat. Tell them to use their microphones. I'm sorry? Use the microphone yes. so you can oh. Yeah, please put your mics on. It's hard to hear. I'm sorry. There are still, there are still some folks talking. Motion by Pat. Hold it. Hold the button down. Just hold the button down. And it goes on. Can I have a second? Second. Second by Baracci. Mrs. Baracci. Yes. Mr. Conti. Yes. Mrs. Norfleet. Yes. Mrs. Papp. Yes. Mr. Sullivan. Yes. Mrs. Wainwright. Yes. Mr. Nutter. Yes. Dr. Skinner. Yes. Motion carries. May I have a motion and a second for the work session and the closed sessions of January 23rd, please? Motion. Motion by Baracci. Second. Second by Nutter. Mrs. Baracci. Yes. Mr. Conti. Yes. Mrs. Norfleet. Yes. Mrs. Papp. Yes. Mr. Sullivan. Yes. Mrs. Wainwright. Yes. Mr. Nutter. Yes. Dr. Skinner. Yes. Motion carries. And may I have a motion and a second for the regular meeting of January uh, 30th and the closed session of January 30th? Motion. Mm -hmm. Motion by Baracci. Second. Second by Conti. Mrs. Baracci. Yes. Mr. Conti. Yes. Mrs. Norfleet. Yes. Mrs. Papp. Abstain. Mr. Sullivan. Yes. Mrs. Wainwright. Yes. Mr. Nutter. Yes. Dr. Skinner. Yes. Motion carries. Administration, uh, may I have a motion and a second, please? for items A01 to A04. Motion. Motion by Sullivan. Second. Second by Baracci. Any questions? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, thank you. Um, for business, may I have a motion and a second for B01 through B07? Motion. Motion by Baracci. Second. Second by Nutter. Any questions? Seeing none, uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. Curriculum and instruction. 
May I have a motion and a second for C01 homebound and C02 tuition rates? Motion. Second. Who is that? Path. 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 Oh, path. path and Sullivan. Sullivan. Any questions? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? I'm sorry. Um, may I have a motion and a second for personnel items zero one through zero five. Motion. Motion by Conti. Second. Second by Baracci. Any questions? Okay, we'll take a roll call. Mrs. Baracci. Yes. Mr. Conti. Yes, please. Mrs. Norfleet. Yes. Mrs. Papp. Yes. Mr. Sullivan. Yes. Mrs. Wainwright. Yes. Mr. Nutter. Yes. Dr. Skinner. Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Public comment two. Members of the public are invited to submit any general comments during this public comment portion of the meeting. The board pursuant to the Open Public Meetings Act will not publicly discuss personnel matters. This portion of the meeting is not a question and answer session. The board will not respond to comments made by members of the public during this portion of the meeting. However, the board will give all comments appropriate consideration and will refer all individual complaints to the superintendent of schools or administration for resolution. Each statement made by a participant shall be limited to three minutes duration and not to exceed a total of 30 minutes. May I have a motion and a second to open community forum two. Motion. Motion by Sullivan. Second. Second by Wainwright. I don't think that's on. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you. Hmm? Yes. yes. No one? Okay, thank you. Seeing no comment, may I have a motion and a second to close community forum two? Motion. Motion by Sullivan. Second. Second by Pap. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Okay, we have no closed confidential session this evening. So I need then a motion and a second to adjourn the meeting. Motion. Second. Motion by Baracci. Second by Sullivan. Sullivan. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. Can personnel just stay briefly after?